Thank you for tuning in, and today's devotion is for January 28th. The scripture states, Enlarge the place of thy tent, and let them stretch forth the curtains of thine habitations. Spare not, lengthen thy cords, and strengthen thy stakes. Isaiah 54 and verse 2. God's people have a mighty work before them a work that must continually rise to greater prominence. Our efforts in missionary lines must become far more extensive. A more decided work than has been done must be done prior to the second appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ. God's people are not to cease their labors until they shall encircle the world. The vineyard includes the whole world, and every part of it is to be worked. There are places which are now a moral wilderness, and these are to become as the garden of the Lord. The waste places of the earth are to be cultivated, that they may bud and blossom as the rose. New territories are to be worked by men inspired by the Holy Spirit. New churches must be established, New congregations organized. At this time, there should be representatives of present truth in every city and in the remote parts of the earth. The whole earth is to be illuminated with the glory of God's truth. The light is to shine to all lands and all peoples. And it is from those who have received the light that it is to shine forth. The day star has risen upon us, and we are to flash its light upon the pathway of those in darkness. A crisis is right upon us. We must now, by the Holy Spirit's power, proclaim the great truth for these last days. It will not be long before everyone will have heard the warning and made his decision. Then shall the end come. It is the very essence of all right faith to do the right thing at the right time. God is the great master worker, and by his providence, he prepares the way for his work to be accomplished. Let us pray. I need the prayers of those I love. To help me in each trying hour To bear my tempted soul to Him That He may keep me by His power I want my friends to pray for me to bear my tempted soul above and intercede with God for me. I need the prayers of those I love. Heavenly Father, thank you for this opportunity of prayer. And thank you for your love towards each and every one of us. Thank you for giving each of us a purpose, dear Lord. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for your many blessings. I pray that you will forgive us of our sins. Cleanse our minds and hearts from the things that are unlike you. Father, I pray that you will speak to us and help us to understand what your purpose is for each and every one of us. We are to be co-laborers with you. You have said in your word, whatsoever you eat or drink or whatsoever you do, do all to the glory of God. And Father, as we think We have to, if we are trying to build our relationship with you, we have to acknowledge uh, that we have not done everything to your name's honor and glory. So I ask that you will forgive us and cleanse us. 
ask that you will help us to put you first before ourselves. I ask that you will reveal to us the dangers of selfish habits and selfish thoughts. And I pray, Heavenly Father, that you will impress upon our minds the need to pray and to study your word. Because it is in your word that first and foremost we will see your love. And once we realize how much you love us, it is then easy for us to trust you and to obey you. Help us to realize that Jesus really is coming back. And he's coming back for a prepared people. Help us to take this time to ask for and allow your Holy Spirit to guide us and to teach us, to prepare us for that second coming. And not just us, dear Lord, but help us to work with you to share your truth with others so that they too will surrender their minds and hearts and that they too will glorify you and that they will be ready. And then they will do their part to share with those that they come in contact with. And then indeed, the message will go out throughout, not just the world, but first and foremost, throughout our immediate families, those that we work with, those that we go to school with, those in our community, even those that we attend church with, dear Lord. I pray that we will see the importance of each and every life that we come in contact with. Help us, dear Lord, not to be distracted by self and by things and other people, but to care about your truth. Help us, dear Lord, to pray more and more for your Holy Spirit's power to share the truth of these last days. Your commandments are true. They have not changed. They will not change. So help us to study and to know what they are and to stand firm in each and every truth, dear Lord. As we see that man is trying to change your laws, help us to realize the danger if we follow a change. Because you have not changed your laws, dear Lord. So we need to stick to what thus says the word of God. We need to stand firm. We need to be immovable. And Father, we also need to be transformed. So I pray that you will help us to be transformed. Help us, dear Lord, to be about your business. Help us to love you, to love others, to pray, to study your word, to serve you, and to serve others. Help us to truly surrender our minds and hearts. And we ask for your Holy Spirit to take full control. Prepare us for Jesus' soon return. Help us to work with you. I pray your will be done in our lives. In Jesus' name I pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen.